So, um, th the car got hurt. Surprisingly, it was not my fault. The left side works completely fine. Let me show you what I mean. So if I'm to open it, you see that flash? Good. If I put on the turn signals, if you didn't know, then yeah, okay. We should be flashing in the front. We should be flashing on the sides and we should be flashing back here. Awesome. Good stuff. So that whole side is working, but here's the butt. This side looks like it's working, 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 and then, oh no, oh no. What, what, what? Oh, you see a little bit of red down there? Well, let's start back here because that's how I noticed it first. If you look at this one, yeah, it's just a red pixel. You see that one right there? It's not flashing. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's an issue. It's only coming halfway. Why is that, by the way? Well, let's take a look underneath the car. So let's see if we can, oh, yeah, that's the issue, guys. You see it? I'm gonna have to like tilt the camera. Oh wait, I have a DJ Osmos. I can just flip it around like this. I can put you under here. It stops right there. So everything past that point is just messed up. Oh, dude, it's right here. So it has to be at this point. I wonder if like the lights are smashed or if the connection is just damaged. I don't think there's any fixing it. I don't think it's even worth it to fix it if I were to try to fix it. So it's like, what do you do? What would you do? Let me know in the comments below because right now I'm kind of, I don't even know. I don't really have time for this. I'm also not even home right now. So it's like, well, what do I do? Like, what would you do? I mean, you kind of have to wait till you get home, right? Let's go try to some solid colors and see if anything works at all. <sighs> but first, how did this happen? Well, I'll tell you. Basically, my friend and I, we were getting some pretty cool drone shots. And the drone shots, they're pretty cool. Like, all things considered, they're good. Obviously, I wasn't the one driving, my friend was driving. So I was in the passenger seat flying my drone and um, yeah, he went over a bump and it was really, really fast and it was really hard. And I think that's what ripped off the underglow. I think that was the issue. That's the short story short. We heard the grinding and the scraping and it was so loud and in my heart, I knew something was damaged. I got out of the car, I thought it was in the back Obviously my underglow is not on during the day. So I was like, huh, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it just hit the skid plate. And then come to find out when, you know, the car does its shutdown animation, it didn't do the shutdown animation. And I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. Yeah. Fun times, fun times. The drone footage turned out pretty cool. I think what I'm gonna have to do is go on, and, well, okay, there's two things I could do. I was gonna do two rows of underglow, and instead of doing that, since I already have the equipment, I could just do one row and replace the damaged strip, or I could just make my own strip and then connect it with the previous one and then connect it to my controller. So there's a couple different things we can do. Now that you know what happened, you've seen the awesome drone footage, let's go look at the lights. So of course, this side works 100%. I guess I should have just started with a solid color to begin with. And then obviously this side, it does not. There's just a, wait, oh yeah. Yeah, nothing here. So let's see if I turn it off. The red went away. Cool, I mean, I guess that's nice. All right, so yeah, it just stops right there. Let me see if I can change the color, if it like does anything. So yeah, flipping through all the colors, it's just completely gone. You can see it's just not making it pass there. So yeah, we're pretty much done guys. This is Dunzoed. I'm really curious to what you would do. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is, I have a Tesla service appointment coming up. Um, I have a pretty big rear brake issue with my car and it's confirmed. It's not anything that I did. 
Uh, it's just some weird thing and a few other owners have experienced it. Get subscribed so you don't miss that video because it's a pretty serious problem. I think what I'm gonna do is take my card in to get serviced and if they mess up the underglow, they mess up the underglow. I mean, they can't really mess it up, but if you, you know what I mean. So I'll wait till after my service appointment to put new glow in. So I have some time to read comments. If you, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a comment, let me know what you would do. Um, just replace the strip, right? That's pretty much it. Or try to fix it. I mean, is there a way to fix the LED strip that's, as you saw, was like just broken in the middle? I'm kind of asking for help here. I think the easiest thing to do is just get a new strip and then solder a connector on each end, water seal it, and then connect it all back together. Uh, that's my plan. Let me know if that's a good plan, if that's a bad plan, or if there's a better plan. Thanks again, guys, and I really appreciate you.